CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering as an additional voluntary public health measure. After days of fierce debate, government health officials make it official. Americans should wear some sort of face covering while in public to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joyce Taylor. And I'm Greg Copeland. That mask does not need to be medical grade. It can be a simple cloth covering, even a bandana or a scarf that covers the nose and the mouth. Experts say this will help protect people who are not showing any symptoms from spreading the virus. You're protecting other people. It doesn't protect you very much. It does protect others. You don't need a sewing machine to make one. I put this together in just a few minutes tonight, in fact, using a bandana, two hair ties. We can send you a tutorial. Just text the word mask to 206-448-4545. Governor Jay Inslee has vetoed several budget items that were actually passed by the legislature, and the aim is simply to save taxpayer money. That, this afternoon, in fact, the governor vetoed 147 different budget items. The action is going to result in $235 million in savings for next year. Most of the bills killed dealt with new studies and programs, including one, to hire new school counselors. The governor says that a lot of good state policies will have to be cut for the state to handle the coronavirus. Under normal circumstances, I would not veto bills that are good policy and smart investments over time. But simply put, these are not normal times. And we cannot sleepwalk our way through this fiscal crisis that the state of Washington will be in uh, in the months and, and perhaps years to come. When lawmakers are scheduled to return next January, the governor says that they may be facing multi-billion dollar budget shortfalls depending on how painful this pandemic is. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is urging the U.S. not to limit exports of medical supplies to Canada right now. That the level of integration between our economies goes both ways across the border. That uh, we are receiving essential supplies from the United States, but the United States also receives essential supplies and products and indeed uh, healthcare professionals from Canada every single day. I Today, President Trump said he is directing FEMA to stop the export of N95 masks. Manufacturing company 3M also said it received a request from the Trump administration to stop exporting respirators to both Canada and Latin America. In an effort to keep inmates safe, the King County jails are reducing the number of people in custody. County leaders say that 1,285 adults are behind bars today, down from 1,899 the same time last month. Officials are trying to keep only the most dangerous people in jail. They say no one in custody has tested positive for coronavirus so far. A Washington state man kicked out of paradise. The Kauai Police Department arrested a 50-year-old Olympia man after he refused to follow the quarantine rules. King 5's Britt Moore has the story. Resources on Kauai are limited, which is why the police chief there says the state's quarantine order is so crucial. Anyone who violates it could face a penalty. Devin Martin took an Alaska Airlines flight from Washington to Kauai and arrived on Thursday. Airport authorities informed him of the state mandated rules that all visitors must quarantine themselves for 14 days. Kauai police say Martin did not have any reservations for accommodations and he refused to find a place to stay. He was first taken to the local hospital to check for symptoms of coronavirus. After he was cleared, he was put in a cell. So we only have 111 hospital beds, nine ICU beds and 18 respirators. Police Chief Todd Raybuck says the potential spread of coronavirus could put a strain on the health care system. And so for a population of over 75,000 residents, uh, you can see that we don't have a significant public health care uh, resources here. And so preventing the spread and community spread of this virus is critical um, for our public health care system. Kauai police posted Martin's arrest on its Facebook page and comments blew up. Supporters thanking police for keeping their island safe.
Martin is scheduled to take a direct flight back to the mainland at some point tonight. However, the police chief did not have any information about whether or not Martin planned to fly back to Washington or somewhere else. Martin and anyone who violates the state's quarantine order could face up to one year in jail and a $5,000 fine. In Seattle, Britt Moore, King 5 News. Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson is warning people about stimulus check scams. He posted this on his Facebook page writing, just goes to show anyone can be the target of a scam. We all need to be vigilant. You can see this photocopied cashier's check has his name on it. So a reminder to receive a stimulus check. Most people don't have to do anything. It's going to be sent to the bank account or the address that you used for your tax returns. You can text the word check to 206-448-4545 for more information on those stimulus checks. With so many places closed, it's become difficult for some people to find a public restroom. And City of Seattle and nonprofits now are trying to provide some relief. Here's King 5's Ted Land. When all those shops, restaurants, libraries, and schools closed, so did their bathrooms, leaving fewer places for Seattle's homeless or anyone else to use the toilet or just wash their hands. The city recently deployed these hygiene stations at six locations. They include toilets, sinks, and soap. That's in addition to several city-owned public restrooms, which remain open. We are overwhelmed with people who um, want showers, laundry. We provide you know, free laundry as well as restroom use. Sharon Lee is executive director of the Low Income Housing Institute, which runs three urban rest stops where people can bathe, wash their clothes and stock up on toiletries. Due to social distancing limits, they're not able to serve as many people as they did before the coronavirus outbreak. Good hygiene is needed now more than ever. Washing your hands, something as basic as hot water to wash your hand is um, not available to them. So we think that's a tremendous health risk for homeless people, um, people living in their cars, and um, people who are unsheltered. They recently came close to running out of toilet paper, which they avoided thanks to some generous donors. Lee says these services are especially limited on nights and weekends when most facilities are closed. The city says it's in the process of buying four hygiene trailers, which will have showers, toilets, and hand washing stations. For now, it still takes some planning and patience to find relief. Ted Land, King 5 News. The city says navigation teams have handed out more than 735 hygiene kits and coronavirus warning flyers to homeless people since the outbreak started here. Time now for the top five on King 5. Starting tomorrow, the city of Seattle will temporarily suspend paid street parking. The city has already suspended the 72 hour parking rule. It plans to phase in paid street parking after this pandemic ends. More cuts to bus, light rail, and water taxi trips will start Monday. King County Metro announced today it will run about 19% fewer trips than usual. 81 routes will have fewer weekday trips or reduced hours. Light rail will also run every 20 minutes instead of every 14. Effective today, Costco will limit the number of people you can bring into its stores. Only two people per membership card will now be allowed. Costco hopes that will help cut down on some of the crowds. State lands will remain closed until May 4th. That means all state campgrounds, boat launches, water access sites, day use recreation and wildlife areas remain off limits. Campers with reservations through May 4th can receive a refund. And Western State Psychiatric Hospital plans to release dozens of patients because of the pandemic. Officials say as many as 60 people will be moved to group homes and supported living facilities. That's to help reduce stress on the Lakewood facility. We're just over the moon, happy that she's getting this response. Siblings showing their mom some love, even though they can't see her in person, and their idea seems to be spreading. Also ahead, good old soap. We break down the science behind why it's the number one weapon against the coronavirus. And Snow Kwame Pass just opened back up a short time ago, and it's had a bit of snow. We'll have the forecast coming up next. <laughs> And as we head to break, making some noise for our healthcare workers, Washington State Ferries shows a little appreciation.